Well, a strange event just happened, so I thought I'd tell you about it. Now, you might know that I've been trying to get a plane to take off from water, uh, and in fact landing on it was a bit of an issue too. Well, so far, I built that one, which I thought was great, until it wouldn't steer, and then I found out that uh, usually people have a little servo on the back to help with steering in water, so unfortunately that didn't work out. Then I moved on to this one, which also made various different types of floats for, still didn't do a thing. And now I've moved on to this one, which floats around okay, doesn't get up to speed, doesn't take off, but what happened was really interesting. Here's a version of it, a silver single wing from about 2008, to show the difference in changes that have happened to this one. It uses differential thrust so I can steer around in the water. And I thought, you know, let's give it a fly, let's see what happens, see if I can land in the water maybe at least. So that's what I did earlier. And the thing is, it landed, the wind caught it, it flipped upside down. And you'll see in the footage, which unfortunately is from a security camera upstairs, it isn't the best, but the wind caught it, flipped it over upside down. Now normally, people would go off and get, you know, recovery boat or whatever, or row out to something and pick it up, but weirdly, with just a gentle bit of throttle, it kept going and I was able to bring it into land, into the land. So I'll show you that footage now. Now if you watch the right hand side of the screen halfway up you'll see the plane come into view. Apologies to cell phone users. But I'm flying about there and I thought alright well see if I can line it up for a landing. I didn't line it up. I simply ditched it. So here we are a bit more zoomed in. As I said the quality is no good but here I am I'm driving it along and I'm thinking okay you know I get it back to the, the shore, we'll be okay. And it flipped, the wind got underneath. So what do you do? I mean, this is where you normally get a boat, you get a recovery thing going on and the thing's stuck. And then I realized if I just sort of use very slight throttle, it started to move. I was able to use the left and right. It took me a minute to work out, but then you can see I've started to bring the thing along. And it does actually start to move towards the shore. Here we are now, I've worked it all out. And there it is, driving itself along upside down in the water. And unbelievably, I was able to bring it over to the shore. It was just such a remarkable thing. I thought, well, don't give up folks. If you've got a plane in the water and it's upside down, it might actually run along. And here I am. Just showing the plane to the camera when I realised the upstairs one was probably filming. And there we are, I've got it back. Anyway, bit of fun there and thanks very much for watching.